This is a continuation of a previous uh, presentation I made where we looked at how to compute the inverse uh, uh, Laplace transforms from first principles. Now the approach I was taking in that presentation, I'll just go scroll back up here on my page, is that I was deriving from first principles the Laplace transform of e to the at and that was equal to 1 over s minus a. Now that was a pretty straightforward uh, Laplace transform calculation. I'll just scroll back up a little bit more. It was a very simple, uh, that's where uh, that's it there. Uh, it was a very uh, simple uh, integration problem. But anyway, the point of it was that we got down here the Laplace transform of, I'll scroll on again, sorry, the pass transform of e to the at was 1 over s minus a. Now, and also in the last presentation I discussed how to find the Laplace transform of cos of at. Now, the thing there was that you can actually re-express cos of at as the sum of two exponential terms. Okay, and then I did that also. But what I'm going to do in this one is that I'm going to, sh once I get down a little bit more, is I'm going to show how to compute uh, sine of at uh, from first principles. So we're just going to do, it's essentially just a sort of continuation of the other one. Uh, sine of at, we're going to f find the Laplace transform of that. Okay, sine of at. And what we're saying is that it, we can rewrite sine of at as 1 over uh, 2i times this expression here, uh, i a, e to the i at minus e to the minus i at. Okay? So that is equal to 1 over 2i. Get the Laplace transform of this term here. Now, the fact that we're using an exponential value doesn't matter at all. Or, uh, sorry, uh, the in imaginary number i doesn't matter with the uh, Laplace transforms. It, there can be i just as much as any real or number. Uh, so, what is that? That is one over s uh, minus i a. The other one is e the Laplace transform of that e to the minus i a t that is one over s plus i a. Okay, now let's just sort of continue on from that. So what we're going to do is cross multiply those two terms there. Uh, let's leave two one over two i on the outside. Okay, so s minus i a times s plus i a okay and uh, over here we'd have s plus i a minus s minus i a so it's cross multiplying the two terms we will get that there the s terms cancel out s minus s plus IA minus minus IA, that's plus 2IA, okay. Uh, S minus IA times S plus IA, it's a difference of two squares um, expression, so that is S squared, let's go down here a bit more, let's scroll back up, so that is, uh, I'll just write it here, S squared, er, don't do use black, s squared minus i squared a squared okay minus i squared a squared is a uh, plus one sorry minus i squared is plus one because i squared is minus one so we could put in a plus there and just get rid of that uh, the numerator is s let's go back up here a second uh, uh, is 2ia Okay, all over 1 times 2i. Now I, I was sort of going over the side of a page there. So, what happens here is that the 2i's cancel out. 2i cancels out with that 2i. So, what we're left with is 
a over s squared plus a squared. Okay. So that is the second uh, calcula uh, uh, derivation from first principles, and it follows on from the derivation of e, uh, the Laplace transform of e to the a t. So using, just go back up here, using uh, those uh, exponential uh, equivalents of terms such as this one here, uh, done the trick nicely. And you could do the same operation, as I sort of said in the previous presentation, you could do the same operation uh, from first principles uh, directly, sorry, uh, using um, e to the entire um, uh, this formula up here no not that one, this one here so you could have gone e to the minus st times sine a t that would have required integration by parts uh, working twice in the same calculation now it's a very straightforward method but it's very dirty whereas this method here is actually much cleaner in my opinion and that's why I would sort of favor it uh, once you have let's go back up here again sorry once you have that expression there uh, this one here which is a very s simple enough calculation and then just write everything in terms of e to the at I think things are much easier uh, just as a remark actually also I'm just going to sort of uh, talk about two more calculations you can do uh, sh the hyperbolic uh, functions Uh, so you have shine, the hyperbolic sine, and cosh, hyperbolic cosine. I don't like actually. I don't like the names shine and cos, cosh. But they are also. You can actually also express them as the um, in terms of exponential numbers. If I recall correctly, it is e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2 and e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2 um, just double check that because I actually don't have them written in front of me but it was just a sort of this is a sort of um, uh, just a sort of off the cuff remark I'm making at the end so you can actually uh, work out uh, both of those uh, just the same way I've done uh, for sine in there Okay, we'll leave that there.